As the US imposes sanctions on Iran and the EU makes a counter-strike, an international legal quagmire begins. Companies are turning to Washington's top lawyers to navigate potential jeopardy. I asked compliance specialist Greta Lichtenbaum what advice she's giving to companies. So just how concerned are your clients about this new development? You know, many of them have been preparing for this for a while. Um, President Trump announced during the campaign that he was going to withdraw from the agreement. Um, and that has had a significant chilling effect already and had for the last several months um, on activity in Iran. Um, and so I think what worries them the most, the EU blocking statute worries them. The EU wants to stay in the deal. So what's their legal strategy? It's a really significant challenge for European-based companies because what it's telling them is, you can't comply with U.S. law. If you do, you have violated EU law. The way these sanctions are designed to work is that you choose. Either you're doing business in Iran or you're doing business with the United States. So this is essentially a white-collar crime. What kind of penalties can companies expect? Many of the sanctions carry civil and criminal penalties. There have been many examples of fines, well over a billion dollars for many of the European banks, for example. And you can go to jail. So what kind of multinational businesses will be affected? Many sectors, financial first and foremost, the energy sector, the automotive sector. Those are sort of the three, the insurance sector, um, the um, anything related to petrochemicals. One long-time sanctuary for Iranian free trade and Iran's elite, luxurious Kish Island. Every aspect of the Iranian economy is going to be affected by these changes. Now, Kish Island is, is unique in that it, it has a very strong tourism industry. That industry may not well be affected, but the um, free trade zone will. Kish also operated well beyond the law. U.S. captive North Robert Levinson vanished from the island while investigating the North Korean black market. There's concerns that Kish Island could be a major re-export hub for some illicit goods in the region. Uh, as we know, the Revolutionary Guard operates their own independent jetties. There's concerns that along several of the islands in the Persian Gulf that they could operate these jetties. Kish Island is one of those. The IRGC's other asset, the Straits of Hormuz, often the scene of near misses with the US Navy. Now the guards have gone even further, threatening to close the world's key oil corridor. The threat temporarily dries up the oil price, benefits Iran in advance of the November oil, oil, oil sanctions. They know that this is something very dangerous. It's a, it's a move of last resort for them.